Since moving into the new house, I became curious of the radon levels. Mostly because it's winter time right now and we're spending like all the time inside. It's, it's freezing. Also, after discovering my furnace was venting carbon monoxide into my attic for two months, it just made me really start to think about the air quality and what's in the air. For those of you that don't know what radon is, radon is a radioactive gas that's colorless, odorless, and tasteless, just like the carbon monoxide that was in my attic. It's produced by a decay of uranium, radium, and thorium in rocks and soil. Fun fact, granite also releases radon. And yes, that includes your granite countertops, but don't just go ripping those out just yet. I've got a whole foundation wall made of granite rocks. Radon can seep into any home or building through cracks in the floor, gaps in the construction, windows, drains, spaces, around cables and pipes. Radon levels can vary greatly from building to building and even within a single building. And that's where the radon eye comes in. The EcoSense RD200 radon eye is a digital radon detector and it was just what I was looking for. It records and tracks radon levels throughout the day or over a longer period of time. It's easy to use and it's basically plug and play. I plugged it in, downloaded the app, connected it via Bluetooth, hit connect, and I had my first radon reading in 10 minutes. The first place I put the radon eye was in my kitchen. I left it there for over 48 hours. They recommend to get a good reading, to leave it there for 48 hours so you can see how it will vary in that amount of time. After that, I took it and put it into my living room, bedroom type thing that we're sleeping in right now. And I left it there for five days. Let's just look at that right now. All right, so when we open the app, we're gonna see right away, well, it says action required because it is over the limit of four. I have a reading of 4.16. The measurement time is how long I've had it in that area, which is six days, eight hours and 42 minutes. I know I just said five days, but I was a day behind or ahead. Not sure how that works. Peak value during that time was 8.11, and the one day average, which is today's average, is going to be 5.0. Now from here we can go into data, and we can look at all those six days and the data points right here within this graph. Like I said, the alarm value is set at four. You can turn that alarm on and off, or you can raise it or lower it, and it will, it's not gonna go off like a smoke alarm, it's just a beep, beep, But you can save current log data and I can just go ahead and save this as family room and I can hit save and come back to this. Now I have called several radon mitigation contractors licensed and they also said that they use the radon eye. So I felt pretty confident in the readings and moving forward with getting a mitigation system, which would involve basically putting a pipe in your basement concrete floor and sucking the gases out from below the slab of your house. So your highest level of radon is most likely going to be in your basement as it comes up through the floor. Every level in your house that you go up, that level should divide in half. At least that's what the radon tech said when he came out to my house. So far, the radon eye has been an excellent source for detecting the fluctuations of radon levels in my home. And once my mitigation system is installed, I will do an update just to show how the levels have been brought down.